Hello again from my front porch. I am in Redfield, Iowa, someplace I honestly have never been before, but I will, I will likely be back many, many times because my good friend here, Pizza Steve Roberts, has some real exciting stuff going on right here in Redfield, Iowa. Would you like to tell us what's going on? I sure would. You know, uh, everybody knows we closed a, a restaurant back a couple months ago. You know, so it's all good. You know, uh, one door closes, uh, many open up, right? Mm -hmm. So we uh, had an opportunity. I reached out to a gentleman, uh, had an opportunity. Uh, at first, the boys were just going to come out here and run it, right? Yeah. They were mm -hmm. going to run it and yeah. do their thing. Um, now we have an opportunity to actually purchase their whole restaurant and mm -hmm. own the restaurant. Wow. So we're out here in Redfield, Iowa. We're going to reopen the Dexville Diner and Pub. Woohoo! We're going to keep it the Dexville Diner and Pub. Uh, once we officially own it on paperwork, we're talking about putting Robert's Dexville Diner and Pub. Uh, but we definitely want to keep Dexville Diner and Pub because well, it's I did see online that there was at least one reference would be Mel's. Yeah, Dexville so um, Mel's, Mel's Dexville Diner and Pub was in here. I actually went to school with her. Um, they tried to they tried mm -hmm. to run it for a little bit, just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And then um, another big one that a lot of people probably knew about was uh, it, it was called Harvey's. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, they were here for a few years and then uh, parted ways and went to do different mm -hmm. things. So now I want to talk about the new place. Obviously, it's that's that's a big deal, big doings. But I want to also say that part of the reason Steve knows so much about all of this is because. You're, you didn't just come over here because these people had a restaurant and they wanted you to come run it. You, you've got a little more personal connection. To yes, the yes I do. Uh, I, I grew up here, we moved here. Uh, I was in second grade. Uh, we moved here from Glenwood, Iowa to Redfield. And then I, I went to school here and graduated here. So, mm -hmm. And then Christy and I actually purchased my home I grew up in and we lived here for a couple of years um, and then until we ventured out to mm -hmm. Ankeny. So yeah, I mean, I got a lot of ties in this area. Um, not just this town, but the little towns, Dexter, Stewart, mm -hmm. Panora, Earlham, you know. Um, so it's it's a homecoming for it's people. A, it is a homecoming. Mm -hmm. A lot of these folks. And why well, for Christy now, too? Oh, for Christy. Well, she was in Adel. Yeah. Christy actually graduated yeah. from Adel, so she's closer closer to home. And mm -hmm. um, a lot of a lot of stuff happening for the Roberts family right now, mm -hmm. and it's crazy, crazy good. <laughs> a lot of positive. Good. Um, got a little building next door we're going to turn into a retro arcade. Got another building to the left, uh, to this south of us that we're gonna try to turn into a little donut coffee shop. So, uh, gonna have all the bases covered. Now, now I, I, I'm on the drive over. It is, it is a little, little longer to get here than it was to that other place in Ankeny. Correct. Uh, if, if you're in Des Moines, uh, it's about half an hour. Yep. Or give or what take. What is it? Six minutes, minutes right off the interstate yeah. if you're heading towards. Yeah. Omaha. What you're looking for is exit number 100. Which makes sense because if you want a 100% wonderful experience, a 100% quality product facilitated by 100% leadership, that's right. you take exit 100. There so you that's go. What you're gonna do. Hey, that's uh, yeah, <laughs> Man, see, this is why I love you, man. You, you're, you're not only a good friend, but man, you have so many good ideas and you've helped me out with so many, many things. And I, I love it. I love well, it. but the other thing I noticed is. People talk about touristy stuff and going to go yep. to oh, do, do yeah. things. And as you drive, you hit out, you head out of Des Moines West on the Interstate 80, head this direction. You can stop and you can see the birthplace of John Wayne. Yep. Then, if that's not good enough for you, you can take it up a notch, go to the bridges of Madison County, yeah. and walk wow. through all them, experience everything, all that. And if that's still not good enough for you, you can drive a little farther to Redfield, Iowa and come to the Dexfield Diner and get an amazing, uh, anything amazing, it's gonna be on your yeah. menu. There's, <laughs> so there you it's go. like uh, elevating, you got yeah. John Wayne, you got Bridges Madison County, and the Dexfield Diner, boom, all in, all in, yeah. And this is a really good spot because we're right in the middle of everything. So we got uh, every, all the surrounding towns, you got Adel, Panora, mm -hmm. Perry, uh, Dexter, oh, and the, the Raccoon River bike trail goes right through here. Yeah. Um, it's a big circle, um, so it goes through here. You got the Raccoon River, which everybody floats down, but yep. there's never been nothing here to stop them. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got uh, Bonnie and Clyde stuff outside of town. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got Hanging Rock. You have the dam. I mean, there's a lot of stuff just there's in this little town. a lot of stuff to run here. Yeah. And so now, now as you're looking at, you know, now, right now, it's a little chilly outside. Yeah. A little chilly and snowy. But when it's warmer and it's nice and you're looking to get out and do stuff, 
Uh, now there's multiple destinations, multiple reasons to make multiple trips out in this direction and including this wonderful place in those plans. But uh, I'm gonna guess that with the menu that you have previously described to me, this is just gonna be a wonderful place to make plans just to come to on its own. I hope so. That's what we're hoping for. You know, you always hope you get good food and that's why uh, we plan on open up March 1st, but we're gonna try to open up March 7th now. Mm -hmm. uh, we just looked at the calendar. Uh, we wanna make sure things are good, right? Yep. You know? Yeah, because you, you've now passed your inspection. Yes. You're, you've got all the green light to go. And it's go time. Just, let's make it's this happen. Time. Yeah, yeah. Be, before we go any farther, uh, Steve took me on a little tour of the place. So let's, 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 let's take a look at this tour that Steve gave. Enjoy. We're here at the Dexfield Diner and Pub. It's uh, the icon here in Redfield, so we're going to keep it the Dexfield Diner and Pub. Uh, obviously, this is the dining area. Uh, lots of seating. Uh, what's really cool about this place is each booth is named. So you got the championship booth. Um, they're really proud about that. Redfield booth. So we got pictures up there of all the old town. Uh, this one I really like. You got the Bonnie and Clyde. Now, why do we have the Bonnie and Clyde booth? Bonnie and Clyde, they actually just uh, west of town here. So you go west and a little bit back to the south is where uh, Bonnie and Clyde and their gang um, actually camped out um, after robbing a bank. I, I think they robbed a bank, but they camped out out here at the ski slopes area, campground area. Um, they actually crossed the river and stole a uh, uh, good friend of my brother's, uh, Gano's, uh, his last name is not Gano, but um, stole his car. But that's where, I, I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Clyde's brother um, actually got shot and oh. killed, I think. But there's a big memorial, or memorial, there's a big uh, information thing out there. Um, so let's Dallas uh, County booth. Uh, we got uh, Brokers International booth. National Investors booth. Ah. Um, obviously, we're going to keep that because he's the one helping us get in here. Nice guy. So very nice guy. Very nice guy. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so all the all the history of the community right there on the walls. Oh yeah, right yep. on the wall. And then of course, you got the bar, which we're not turning it into a bar. It's going to be a, a diner and pub. Um, we're <clears throat> we're going to close around ten or eleven, depending on how things are going on and events we have. We'll stay open a little bit later if we have events, but um, you know we want you to enjoy a drink but still be able to go home. So pretty cool. And then of course in here, you got the lovely kitchen, which. I'll show it's it to you because it's probably the cleanest it's, it's ever going to be. It's very clean. <laughs> Here you got the kitchen. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool. It's all set up, ready to go. We spent a lot of time in here getting it cleaned up, and you know, we're excited to start making food in here. But let's go outside real quick. But this is what I'm excited for for the summertime. Is out here is the patio, and if you come around the corner, it's kind of messy right now. But we're going to have a patio bar out here too. So oh cool. yeah, and we'll have TVs, TVs up there. Of course, the boys want to put a basketball hoop out here. That ain't happening. <laughs> but, uh, we can have bag tournaments out here. We can have, you know, um, and what's really cool is the Raccoon River Bike Trail is just down the road, um, and also down here. So there's a couple ways to get here. If you come up from the dam, uh, uh -huh. you can hop off the bike trail, come up here. So the bikers can come here, grab something to eat, grab some, some drinks or some water to hydrate, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll have vents out here for the uh, for all kinds of stuff. We're gonna cool. have all kinds of vents. So we got this little chalkboard. This is not the drinks. We'll have some of these drinks up here, but uh, this we'll have, who knows what we're gonna put up here, but we have a little chalkboard up here to put menu items, whatever. Uh, but this here is really, really cool. Well, then of course, I got this come with me. Uh, this is very special to me. Um, this is uh, uh, Moose's, Moose's ball, uh, who passed away with cancer. Moose Hop, it's Canyon Hopkins, but we call him Moose. So I, that's up here. That's the first thing I put up here. But um, And then we have this cool uh, display. Uh, this is some really cool history about uh, Dexfield. That's, uh, Dexfield is it's, uh, the high school. So we were the Dexfield Blue Devils, which I graduated a uh, Dexfield Blue Devil. So it's pretty cool, but this, uh, they won the championship in class, uh, class A, 1973. Um, the gentleman that owns all these buildings that's uh, getting us in here, 
that we'll be purchasing, uh, uh, we're actually gonna own this. So we're purchasing this from Arjo Smith, who is actually the coach of this football team. Um, all this stuff's gonna stay up. We're not taking it down. Um, it, it's gonna come with it and we're gonna leave it up here. Um, so there's a lot of history over there. But here's another, uh, this is, now this is a really crazy part of this history, is in 1974, they were actually ranked number one. But there was a scoring system, a point system deal. They actually did not get to go play in the state championship or else there would be another trophy because they would have beat, they would have won. But a smaller division with a weaker conference actually won or actually beat them by points. So they didn't get a go actually play for a state championship. But 9-0, and come on, that's what's crazy. 9-0 and and you don't get to go play in a championship, that's crazy. So pretty cool history. And I think, I think that's really cool. When somebody new takes over, they give it a little bit of a facelift, a little bit of a, of a, of a new emphasis, but they retain why people loved it in the first place. Yep. Uh, and so then, then here, as you showed on your tour, you know, you're, you're really, I mean, you're coming in, you're doing some new stuff, but you're also taking really good care of, of the history that's oh, here sure. and, yep. and what people have come to love and, and, and appreciate about this place and the, and the history of the community, the sporting history especially, right. which you know so well because you were there. Right. <laughs> exactly. right. and, and what I really love about this too is, is next year, 2023, will be 50 years for this football team. So they'll oh, be wow. celebrating their 50 year anniversary and what, what better place to host it. Yeah, I was here, gonna right? say, I assume you're gonna host one something yep. here, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and you know me, back in my old place, I'm all about community. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is, I, now, you know, I grew up here, This and not saying that Ankeny, Ankeny's still my community. I still love Ankeny, I still mm -hmm. love the community, and I will still help out the best I can. Um, but now, I, guess what, I'm already sponsoring <laughs> I'm already sponsored a, a baseball team, right? <laughs> so I'll have our name on the back of a shirt for the yep. little, for the uh, little league uh -huh. uh, here in Inc here in, here in uh, Redfield. So yeah. I'm, I'm not at it's all. It's already surprised. begun. It's going to be amazing. We got a lot of events. You know, there's a lot of things we're going to do here: trivia mm -hmm. nights, music nights, uh, local music, karaoke, Cari karaoke. Matter of fact, the gal that works for R. Joe Smith, Jordan has her karaoke business. I just talked to her yesterday, yeah. told her how, how, how awesome a singer Christy yeah. and I are. <laughs> and my good buddy Paul, well, you know, he, right? He, he, those of you watch, you, you know that I've sang National Anthem because I, yeah. I, I've included, I but you know, so is he, this, yeah. guy, this guy's done it too. But you're amazing. That's, so we can have we can have karaoke here. It's going to be fun. We'll have, we'll have a, an, a, an anthem off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing the anthem because I'll, I'll lose. I'll lose on that one. I'll lose on that. You're, you're king on that. So, uh, but no, we'll get Christy to do Grease. Well, there we Christy go. and I there. love to do Grease. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. might have to have a couple drinks in her, but she <laughs> she's a heck of a singer and she, she she's a fun to be. Like. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep the community involved. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna do great things and have have. Well, that sounds great. So yeah, um, a lot of people are reaching out to me about mm -hmm. doing this and doing that. Yeah. So it, it it's endless. I mean, so so you're already hearing from the community. Oh and my gosh, yeah. And and huge shout out to Arjo Smith, uh, at National Investors mm -hmm. over here. Um, just he he he. When I was growing up, he mm -hmm. was the one that was trying to build this town and trying to make yeah. it a better place and, and getting these buildings and fixing them up instead of letting them run down. Mm -hmm. um, and now he's getting up there where he wants to not have to worry about all that yeah. stress. And, and now he's starting like, you know what, I'm just going to sell. And, you know, he could have easily turned around and sold this to somebody else real quick. But it, he sees my vision. He sees what I want to do here in this town. And, yeah. and that's what he's wanted to do. Good. He's always wanted to fix things up, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're, awesome. gonna, we're not going anywhere. We're, this, yeah. this is it. This is what this is what we're going to end yeah. up. And so I, I'm excited, not just about the restaurant, but about these other projects you got going on yeah. too. But but let's let's talk about the restaurant. What uh, I, I saw yesterday, uh, I think you officially shared what the official Facebook page yep. for it is. Yep, uh, uh, Dexville Diner and Pub. Mm -hmm. um, I had, I had to, I tried to all caps it, but it, I had to use it. So it's Dexville Diner and Pub. It has it has a has our uh, mascot logo for yeah. for where we went to school, and then plus it has a picture of oh, what's my, that? What's that mascot logo? Uh, it's a, a devil. It's a devil. It's a devil. It's a, I mean, makes sense. It's a good nice devil. It's, it's, it's a, a nice, nice devil. devil. <laughs> with a catch for it. 
A <laughs> nice devil with a pitchfork. He's ready to help bail hay. That's right. why. He's that, yeah, he's a nice he's devil. He's a helpful devil. <laughs> so, and then I have a picture of our family, so that way people okay. see that that's that's. All right. You know, so 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 go out to Facebook and 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 like them yep. there. Uh, do you have any? Do you have a web page? We're here? working on the web page. We're going to have online ordering, Ooh, um, so okay. you can come and pick it up. Mm -hmm. um, I assume you're not going to be doing a lot of the, the delivery stuff no, because here it's, here it's it, it's a they, little it's a little less convenient. But for all that kind of if stuff. there's somebody that can't get out and I'm able to, you know, I'll take it. Oh uh, yeah, because you know? again, he doesn't say no. He has trouble. Right. <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> but no, it's. Uh, and our menu, you know, uh, menu, obviously, you know, uh, we're going to have, you know, pizza, some wings and yep. calzones and yep. uh, breadsticks, yep. hamburgers, for, you know, but we're going to make all our I'm stuff in-house. We're going to do in-house. So mm -hmm. everything in here is going to be in-house. And we've already established he also will still have cauliflower crust. Correct. Gluten-free and cauliflower crust. <laughs> and then when you're done eating here, you can go down to, uh, it's called the dairy shop. It's, okay. it's ran by um, here here in town. It's ran by uh, Linda and Jack Chance. Mm -hmm. um, so it's uh, they're open like six months out of the year. Yeah, um, they're they're able to do that, mm -hmm. and uh, they have food down there too, and ice cream. So once you eat here, you can go down there and get some ice cream. Uh, check them out also. Uh -huh. uh, but no, it's it's. I mean that's so we got this place, and then we'll have their place down there. Yeah. And, yeah. So it's just, it's going to be a good thing. You know, her and I talked a lot and, yeah. you know, she's going to help me out. I'm going to help her out. That's and great. You know, and, and that's, I'm not surprised because I, yeah. I, I know up in Ankeny, you were, you, yeah. you, you, you collaborated with, with well, you several to. other places. You have to. Uh, you know, the, obviously individuals, well, now I don't know, in, in, in a smaller town where there's only so many eating options, right. um, you know, that might be different, but but you know, most people are not going to go to the same restaurant every single day. Right. They're and gonna they're, try yeah. they're gonna eat here, they're gonna eat there, they're gonna eat there, they're gonna eat there. And and it's it's so it's not like you're competing against one another. No. And the price the prices will be different too. Once 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 you have the menu all fleshed out. Yep. And and, and you know, we're actually we're gonna have to chat again. Oh for because, sure. Because because uh, when when you were talking before, before you know, when, when you were still at the other place, right? Uh, and you were talking about the kind of stuff you were thinking of doing, it sounded really incredible. And so, so we're, um, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come back and we're gonna have to talk specifically go. about those things. <laughs> you gotta keep them guessing. You gotta come yeah. here to figure oh, out what uh, we're serving. It's, right? it's, that's it's, how you it's really good. That's <laughs> why, you know, everyone's like, "What's the menu? What's the menu?" Well, you have to come here. That's my marketing uh, gig, yeah, right? Yeah. If you want to know yeah. my menu, get in here. You know, so. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready for rock. I'm ready to rock and roll. All right. I well, appreciate you to help everything you do for me, man. Hey, I really do. Hey, I, I, I'm ready to see this place just blast off. It's, it's, just it's be, gonna hang I, on. You have a great time. Hang on. And so I just think this is this is this is gonna be perfect. Scenario. You know what I'm most so, excited about? What's that? I can have a cruise night. <laughs> and not get in trouble. And not get not get. Yell that I can, you know, by yeah. my neighbors, yeah, because uh, I've already checked. I told these have, people I'm filling this whole have, town. Have they done a cars. cruise night in Redfield before? No, they do over, they do a good eight days in Stewart. Yeah. They have, they have once a month or something, they do oh, a cruise wow. night over there. Right. So I'll get with them mm -hmm. and we'll communicate so we don't hit on the same days. Mm -hmm. And you know, what better play, you know, cruise back and forth, yeah. you know. So yeah. yeah, sounds awesome. It's gonna be fun. Right. Well. As always, pleasure you, chatting sir. with you, Pizza Steve. Appreciate and uh, uh, I, I think this place is is awesome. I, I you know I, I just love the look and feel. You know, some would say, "Well, it looks like a, it looks like a, you know a, an older pub." Well, yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> right, right. right. I, I think it's very cozy. <laughs> We're not getting any younger, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I I, you know, I look forward to, to coming over as, sure. as when when the doors are open and 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 having a good time with the with all that you're serving. All right. And hopefully, everybody. Watch Watching, we'll, we'll head out west on Interstate from Des Moines uh, to exit 100 and then just a little drive north up here to Redfield and boom, you're right here at the Dexfield Diner and Pub. There you go. All right. So with that, I'll see you all next time from my front porch.